Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another moving vlog. Today is probably the most exciting one. This is the one that I've been looking forward to the most. And that is organizing my new bookshelf. Not my new bookshelf, it's the same bookshelf. It's just in a new room that is going to be dedicated to being like an office slash like storage area slash book room. Yeah, so all of my books are bagged. They've been bagged for... So today's Sunday, we've had, we started moving into the house on Wednesday, which, yeah, it's been a few days. These books have been in bags for a few days. I have a lot of books that I have to get through, and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with organizing them. I'm going to show you all of the books, what we have to go through, and then I'm just going to start organizing them. So this is what you see when you walk into this room. I have my dresser over on this side. These things are here temporarily, and that's just my coffee. I have all of the books in the middle there. We have a desk on this side, my bookshelf there, and then a closet here. We're not going to do anything to the closet, obviously. We're probably not going to do anything to the, um, the desk either. And the dresser might become a book stacking area because I know I have more books in here than I can fit on that shelf and in this book cart. They're not all going to fit. I am going to have to stack books, so... We'll see how that goes, but I'm just going to start by taking all of the books out of the bags. I think I'm going to separate them by genre, and then we'll just go from there and then see what we, what I come up with, I guess. And then I'm going to start putting them up on the shelf, so let's just get right into that. <laughs>
Done. I'm actually very happy with how it looks. I'm also very happy with the book cards. I do have this pile of books left 
and uh, so I have the scripts for normal people and conversations with friends. I have the collector's edition to red, white, and real blue. I'm glad my mom died in the hardback. I have these little Macmillan Library Edition books. These are classics. And then I have these two that I got from Lelu Library in Porto when I went there with my boyfriend. And then I have this very interesting book. I got this in Lisbon in a bookstore. I don't remember the name of the bookstore, but it's in Nelsie's Factory. And it's a the periodic table of feminism. So you have this with like names of very famous feminist women communities of movements that were very important in the fight for equality or that are very important in the fight for equality i know emma watson's in here so is beyonce we are fully done with the book organization i'm very happy with everything uh, with how everything is looking i'm going to show you i'm going to turn you guys around and show you where i put everything and how i decided to go about organizing books so this is the view from when you enter into the room just like so this here is the book cart so this is where i decided to put it because it just fits so nice and the book cart is kind of random i have my hardbacks and i have a special edition and then this other special edition book i have my heartstopper books here and i just have some other random books if you want to see the titles that's the ones that i have there in the bottom i have a bunch of portuguese books so those are my childhood books i also have magnolia parks in there and these are just other books that i've read and that i have in portuguese and then in the back here i have a couple more hardback books just random books like again i have a lot of little random books that i don't really want to have on my shelf or in the case of the hardbacks they just don't really fit in the space that i have in the shelf then on top here, I just have the books that didn't fit anywhere else. So I have these special little book, like special editions that are the small sizes. I have this one, and then I have the scripts for normal people and conversations with friends. And then these two bigger hardbacks. And then the main bookshelf, the main book space. This is what it currently looks like. So at the top, I have just some romance books. There's a couple random other ones there's some literary fiction over there there's i don't know i don't even know there's just like a like i think the soul of omens nonfiction, if i remember correctly there's kind of a mismatch of genres in these shelves and then here i have some of my favorite books series authors that kind of thing and then these are my sarah j mass shelves i have the paperbacks and the throne of glass uh collector's edition in this one and then i have hardbacks and the akatar collector's edition in this one then over here is my cassandra clare shelf with all of the books that i have of hers most of these are in portuguese so all of these ones here are in portuguese and then i have all of these ones in english and then over here i have lee bardugo holly black v e schwab and marissa meyer with the lunar chronicles at the bottom, I just have some classics, some books I read for school, and Harry Potter. And that's that. Honestly, I kind of feel like my organization of books never really changes all that much from one place to the next, or just whenever I redo my books, I kind of stick to having contemporary and romance at the top, fantasy at the bottom, some classics. If I have classics on the shelf, they're going to be at the bottom as well. And I'm very happy with how this looks. I am definitely going to have to start stacking books here or I'm going to have to buy a new bookshelf to put maybe in the living room or something. But this is what it looks like right now. I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is probably going to be my last proper moving vlog. I feel like things are kind of on their way. And so much is set up, like I really have been taking a lot of time setting things up and just setting up the house, making making a house, whatever. And I'm probably gonna give like home updates and vlogs and things like that, but I hope you enjoyed this tiny little mini series of me moving into my first house with my boyfriend. We are so happy to have this, we're so fortunate, so privileged. And we're just, we're ecstatic to have this space for us. 
So if you enjoyed, please let me know. Also let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me and I will try to make that happen. I'm gonna leave all of my social media and also my Goodreads linked down below so you guys can go follow me on there if you'd like. And I will see you next Tuesday with a new video. Until then, I hope you have a great day, a great week, just a great time, and yeah, I'll see you then.